So thank you very much for your time and coming to talk for National Apprenticeship Week about your experience of being an apprentice. So can I just ask you to introduce yourself, Lindsay? Yep. So my name's Lindsay Tate and I'm 26 years old. I work at the college currently. And I did my level three and level four business admin apprenticeship at the college. So I did one year for doing the level three and then two years doing the level four. OK, so at the time then, Lindsay, you would have been taught by people that you worked alongside as well in terms of yes. the work colleagues and you went into their classroom for for lessons yeah so how did you how did you find that it was interesting it, it was um sometimes it was a bit hard because I was in class as a student and then I was working with people as their colleague um so it was hard at times but everyone's just so lovely it's easy to get along with on both levels yeah. so you you would have been a young school leaver when you came to the college then I was 20 when I came to the college, so I was a bit older. Um, I worked somewhere else and I did my level two somewhere else. But then when I came to the college, I did my level three and four. Ah, that's interesting. So did you leave school at 16 and take up an apprenticeship in another organisation? No, um, I left school and then I went to do my A-levels. But then I decided that I didn't want to go to university. So I ended up doing my level two as an apprenticeship at a gym. And then when that finished, I did my level three at the college. OK, so administrative role within the gym, though. Yes, yeah, I was a receptionist. Yeah, oh, brilliant. <laughs> That's quite nice. I think um, attracting apprenticeships, it's not always about it being your, your immediate choice from being a school leaver. You know, yeah. you're open to a wide age range of people. And mm -hmm. it's to know that somebody's started off on the process and continued on up through the different levels so level two business admin level three business admin level four business admin yeah yeah so you would have liked business admin at that <laughs> yeah definitely <laughs> i know when we talked earlier and we talked about why you applied for the apprenticeship because it's in an educational setting you you thought you'd get lots of lovely holidays <laughs> <laughs> yes i did i did that was the first thought yeah, it's um, probably quite common. But what are the advantages, though, of, of <laughs> the job role you have? Um, well, it's not very often that you actually find apprenticeships in HR departments, um, especially doing business admin. I was lucky enough to have the level two in business admin. But then when this one came up, it was a level three, but it was also in the HR department, which was quite interesting because you'd find the HR ones were HR qualifications. But I was quite lucky to get into HR through my business admin. Brilliant. So the, the college has obviously needed a, a certain type of person to fit in the HR department. But then as you've progressed, you've taken on HR qualifications as well, haven't you? Yeah. Yeah. So it's opened up doors. So I started as a HR administrator, which meant I needed the business admin. But now I work as a HR officer because I've done my HR qualification as well. So it has worked the way up thanks to the apprenticeship I started on. Yeah. If you if you were to think about your full apprenticeship journey from start to finish. When you were 20 and you came to do the level three, did you envisage that you'd end up in the role that you're in now? Not really, no. Um, doing the level three and the level four, there was quite a big jump um, in what you do in the level three and what you do in the level four. Um, and I don't think the level four was quite known when we started doing it. Um, but yeah, I wouldn't have thought that it would have it has now but I'm really glad that it has <laughs> yeah yeah so probably wasn't something you thought that you'd end up in but yeah. you've not read into the role that you, you've got within the college now yeah I think one of the one of the things that can be quite sort of make young people nervous is the fact that in an apprenticeship you're going to work alongside people who would also train you yeah yeah yes yeah, yeah. yeah. The dual role of being a colleague to someone, but also being trained by that person. Mm -hmm. You sitting in the HR department, and you know 
managing the needs of the workforce at the college, but also being trained by two members of the college team. Did you find that daunting at any time? Um, sometimes, sometimes I did, yeah. Um, but everyone was really understanding and helping me with my apprenticeship. There was obviously the people in my department and my lecturers that helped me along the way, but everyone no matter who I asked in the college would always help me if they could if I needed something for an assignment I could go to the payroll department and ask them I feel like I was very lucky in having working in HR so knowing everyone but then being able to have that relationship where I could ask for things if I needed to. So that's probably like a key tip for an apprentice isn't it? <laughs> yeah. yeah get to know everyone. <laughs> Yeah, wherever you work, make sure that your training wraps around all of those other people that can come in and help you. Mm -hmm. You know, think that it's you and your 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 immediate line manager and your trainer at college. Go mm -hmm. on, well, if if you know that they can give you something. Yeah. So the last question that I want to ask Lindsay is, um, sorry, I'm trying to just move me. Sorry. <laughs> is has the apprenticeship transformed your life? It has, it definitely has. I wouldn't have thought I am or would be where I am today, but it's thanks to the apprenticeship that I am. Uh, and I really, really enjoy my job role now. So I'm glad that I took that apprenticeship. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I think before before the interview, we chatted about the fact that you, you were going to move away from the college, weren't you? Another yeah. opportunity to come up. Um, mm -hmm. But the college was wise enough to realise <laughs> The your potential and keep you on at the time it's opened more doors for you hasn't it yeah I'm so glad that I stayed with the college because it definitely has changed my life thank you very much Lindsay thank you